This man let 200 venomous snakes bite him for science. Let me introduce you to Tim Freedy, a man who decided he was going to allow hundreds of venomous snakes to inject their venom into his bloodstream, all in the name of science. And it actually worked. Over the course of 18 years, Freedy has been slowly building up an immunity to snake venom through exposure therapy. In other words, a snake bites him, injects its venom, he manages the symptoms, gets better, and voila, he's immune. Now, it may not work that easily, and some snakes are obviously more dangerous to handle than others. But in simple terms, antivenom is produced by injecting small amounts of a snake's venom into an animal's bloodstream. And then when said animal's immune system fights off the venom, antibodies are produced. Those antibodies are then harvested, and the scientists do their science thing to make antivenom, which helps save the lives of thousands worldwide. The only issue is that antivenom isn't a one-size-fits-all cure for all snakes. But with the help of Tim, scientists are optimistic that the antibodies in his bloodstream, thanks to his selflessness, may actually help them create a generic antivenom that can be used for all types of snake venom. And the research thus far has been very promising. Experimenting on mice, this new antivenom that was created thanks to Tim was able to protect against lethal doses of venom from 13 different snakes and provided partial protection from another six. It's exciting stuff, guys, and it's possible that this new creation could lead to protection against other snake bites, which currently lack any antivenom. I wouldn't recommend trying this at home, though, as Tim even had a few close calls and stopped his homemade experiment, even though he figured out 